Hi, I'm Jenna. Welcome back to Hacienda Homestead. Today's another busy day here on the farm. We're walking out to the barn to get started on cleaning out the goat stalls. So it's nobody, nobody, nobody's favorite chore, but it has to be done. So let's get started. So these are the stalls that we'll be cleaning out all the way down. There's five of them. And then on the very end, we just laid concrete because once we start milking, once we start milking, um, we'll, we'll separate the babies from their mamas at night and then we'll milk in the morning and then they will get their babies during the day. Is this your favorite chore, Claire? No. What's your favorite chore? Feeding the chickens. Feeding the chickens, no. What's your favorite chore, Drew? Probably uh, feeding the dog. Feeding the dog. Drew wears a mask when we uh, clean stalls. He may have some allergies to hay, I'm, I'm thinking. And so we, we'll clean the stalls. We'll back this um, trailer up to each stall. We rake it, shovel it, and then we take it out um, and spread it over the, the area where we're going to have our garden. So. Every, say hello, Willow. She had triplets this year. They're peeking in. They get put up. They get put up at night, and then in the mornings we come out and let them out, and they have a nice pasture to run. There's Sadie. She's old. She's about 13, and she gets her own bed and a heat lamp. She's pretty much deaf and blind, but. She still does her best to be a guard dog. Don't you, Sadie? For some reason, cleaning out stalls brings out the worst in them. And they they used to fight a whole lot more. They fight over who's gonna rake, who's gonna shovel, who's gonna drive the gator, who's gonna spread the manure. I think Drew said today he's raking and Claire is gonna shovel it into the trailer. Yeah, we'll give them all fresh water. <clears throat> what do you mean pour them out? Just pour it out right there. Okay. And then just set it out there. Just set the bucket out there. I was gonna set the bucket. Oh, okay. And that pink yeah. thing.
This will be good stuff for our garden, though. We're not even halfway done it. Yep. A lot. Well, we put a lot when the babies were born, so they'd stay warm. So this one's pretty much clean. Claire's going to finish just giving it one last rake. And then they'll take this to the garden big pile. That's out, that's out of one out of one stall. Out of one stall, right? And it smells horrible. And it smells horrible. Okay, Jerry, shut the stall door, so just in case one of the goats decide they want to come in. So Claire will drive and Drew will walk behind and just slowly do a top, a thin top layer into the garden. And then later this week, my brother's gonna come in with the tractor and till it so it'll be incorporated real well. We waited too long this time, really, in between cleanings, and so it's created more back labor for us to get it all in, to get it all up, rather. And I like this because Claire and Drew often don't get along okay. and this kind of forces teamwork not to mention teaching them the value of work and being responsible oh. last night Drew was complaining because he didn't want to do chores and so I told him I wasn't gonna feed him supper and he said why not and I said well you don't want to feed the goats their supper or the chickens or the dogs or the ducks. If you don't do your chores, they don't get their supper. So if they don't get their supper, you're not going to get your supper. And so that didn't take him long to change his mind, reminding him how when he gets hungry, he likes to eat. And the way I see it is, all of these animal, animals contribute to our 
livelihoods. We get eggs, we get milk, and the least we can do is feed them good food, give them a clean, dry place to sleep, a warm place to sleep, and, and in return, they take care of us. second one finished not near as much as the first one but it's a smaller pin so I can go across here from this corner to that wall. From this corner to that wall with the wall. Yeah. And have them here. Yeah. And we'll just run when we put our light in here. We'll just run another one here because they won't grow without a lot. So, I mean, it'll be too dark in here all the time. Right. So we we'll just run a lot from you know one in there and one in here, and that way they'll be in here out of the element. And so I'll just make a door right here. Yeah. And that way, when they get big enough to go in here, we just run them through here to the door and go for the next door. Yeah. Good idea. Only you've got a lot of mess to clean up. Yeah, there's a lot of mess here. Yeah, that's the main, that, that's going to be the longest part of the process is getting it clean. Yeah, well, it's all, it's all trash, isn't it? Well, a lot of the wood in it, but most of, for the most part, it's, I don't know what all that junk right here is. It looks like fans got and... a few fans, a steel saw, that's still good. Some tin. That looks like some kind of a chicken feeder or something. It's an electric fence box. Ooh, good one too. 
if it still works. That's when I weed burners. It'll start a fire. Oh no, that's just like a. It's an old water can. I guess maybe an old steel or something. Or maybe you put minnows in it. A whole bucket of tin nails there. A whole bucket of what? Tin nails. Oh, well, there's tin. Yeah, there's tin in here. But uh, I think that would probably be. We we'll have to worry about it. Right. We we'll have to worry about the rain. Nothing else. And definitely we we'll have to build a whole new shed for it. Right. So when we bought this property, it was completely full of stuff. And we asked the people either to leave everything or clean it all up. Well, they took everything that was worth any money and then left all the junk. So we've been, I can't tell you how many, how many loads of trash we've taken to the dumpster or taken to the metal shop and sold it. And this is just one, this older barn hasn't been cleaned out yet. We haven't even begun to clean it out. So looks like we're going to now if we're gonna put chickens there. Yeah. We got the stalls finished and now we're just picking up some Old sacks from concrete, and Drew's doing a quick sweeping of the barn. It really needed it. We let it go too long. And Lamont's about to fill up all the water troughs that we poured out when we were cleaning out the stalls. Filming. Fresh hay. Drew's just finishing up on this one. Here's the last one. Now we've got to move to the chicken coop. So we're sweeping out this nasty thing and then we're putting fresh hay in all the nesting boxes. Get the broom, bring it in here. We're gonna, are we going to put hay in that one right there? Yes, we're going to put hay there. chicken manure into the garden. So now we're putting fresh hay in the nesting boxes. they finish that, Adam has some more pads to put down over the floor and it'll cover that hole and we'll be good to go.
Drew's feeding some shredded carrots and eggshells to the chickens that we had. I'm headed back up to the house. That concludes our work day for today. We got everything that we had wanted to get done finished. And now we have about two or three weeks before we have to do it again, which is good. It's a never ending process. And this evening we have a hamburger supper at our church. And so I'm gonna go get ready for that. And We'll see you next time.